Even now, with the Countess Olivia's service. Even now, sir, on a moderate pace, I have since arrived but hither. Ah, well, she returns this ring to you. You might have saved me my pains to have taken it away yourself. She has, moreover, that you put your lord into a desperate assurance that she will none of it. And one thing more, that you never be so hardy as to come again into my lady's affairs, it must be, to report your lord's taking of this. Receive it so. She took the ring of me, all none of it. Oh, come, sir. You peevishly threw it to her, and it is her will to be so returned. If it be worth stooping for, there it lies in your eye. If not, be it his that finds it. I left no ring with her. What means this lady? Fortune will be my outside. I've not tried her. She made good view of me. Indeed, so much that we thought her eyes had lost her tongue, for she did speak and start distractedly. <laughs> she loves me, sure. And the cunning of her passion invites me in this churlish messenger. None of my lord's ring, why, he sent her none. I am the man. If it be so, as tis a poor lady, she would better love a dream. Ah, disguise. I see thou art the witness wherein the pregnant enemy does much. How easy is it for the proper false in women's waxen hearts to set their forms? Alas, our frailty is the cause, not we, for such we are made of, such we be. How will this bad? My master loves her dearly, and I, poor monster, fond this much on him, and she mistaken seems to do for me. What will become of this? As I am man, my state is desperate for my master's love. As I am woman, now alas the day, what thriftless sigh shall poor Olivia breathe? Oh, time, thou must untangle this, not I. It is too hard enough for me to untie. 